Bye. Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cikgu Dila and our topics today is about materials. This is science here for unit 8. First, we move to the basic source of materials. Materials can be come from living things and non-living things. For example, living things can be from plants and animals. Non-living things can come from petroleum and rocks. Materials that can come from living things such as plants which is rubber. So rubber obtained from a rubber tree. Rubber is a white liquid called as latex. So we cut from a rubber tree and that is latex. You are that one white thing. That is latex. So this is the example of object or products obtained from the rubber such as tires, eraser, ball, balloon, glove and slippers. All of these produced from latex that come from a rubber tree. We also have wood come from a plant, a material, wood obtained from trees like that and then this is some of the example of materials that obtain from plants which is wood such as tissue pencils paper cupboard table chair the one that made from wood next we have plants which is cotton cotton obtained from the cotton plant so this is a cotton and this is cotton plant and the object that can obtain object or material that can produce from cotton such as pillow, blanket, clothes, treats, towel, plants and then we have rattan and bamboo. Rattan obtained from a rattan plant, bamboo obtained from a bamboo tree. So this is a rattan plant and this is a bamboo tree. So the material that can be produced from a rattan plant such as a rattan chair and rattan basket. And then for bamboo tree, we can produce a bamboo mat and bamboo flute. Ah, she? <laughs> Animals, okay. We can get wool from animals, for example, like the sheep. Wool obtained from sheep. Wool is a soft, thick hair which come from sheep. What we can make from the wool? So, we can make a woolen cap, sweater, blanket, glove, and also a carpet. Animals, we have leather. Leather is obtained from animal skin such as cow. Okay, this is a cow. And then, this is a cow leather. So what we can make from this leather such as shoes, belt, leather sofa, handbag and wallet. This is just an example. Next, we have animals fur and feather. So fur is a thick soft hair that cover the body of some types of animals. Feather is from birds, remember? So this is fur, this is feather. So this is the materials that can be produced from fur and feather such as painting brush, fur coat, feather duster and shuttlecock. Petroleum, so it can make plastic from we can make plastic from petroleum. So petroleum is a black oil obtained from ground from form from living things that had died million years ago. So plastic are made by combining chemicals such as petroleum, coal, oil, and other natural materials. So this is the characteristics of plastic. Plastic is cheap light, strong, and easily molded. 
So, this is some example of plastic such as polyester. We use it to make fiberglass and artificial fiber. Nylon. We use to make a fishing net, tent and umbrella. PVC, polyvinyl chloride. We use it as a garden hose, toy and raincoat. We have polyethylene. We use for to make a bottle, food wrapping and carrier bag. Lastly, we have polystyrene. We use it to make a cup, packaging or bowl. Next. So this is the most commonly used plastic. And if you recognize or if you realize in a plastic container we have all these numbers so actually these numbers represent what is that plastic and what is the next life for that plastic can we reuse it can we use it again uh, is it easy to recycle and that's it okay next we have rocks so rocks can come from underground sources resources and rocks can be metals or soil metals can be like a gold or copper this is gold or copper whereas rocks it can be soil it can come from a clay or sand we can make it a brick or a clay pot and for sand it's actually for glass next Oh, choose three items around reclassify the sources of material that you have okay for example like this is the most three common materials around us which is if you are students you must have eraser pencil and books okay next what we will do is we identify the properties of these materials so we will uh, I didn't we will identify the ability this object to absorb water ability to float on water elasticity of material conductor or insulator electric electricity conductor or insulator heat and its ability to allow light to pass through so activity identify the properties of material that you have previously okay what we have previously we have the eraser pencil and books yeah so what is the properties oh wait before that sorry okay so here we have pencil and eraser both of these cannot absorb water but books can absorb water ability to float on water books when it absorb water it might sink but pencil it can float eraser hmm. eraser it will sink okay and elasticity of material all of these are not elastic conductor or insulated electric all of these are insulated electricity can it conduct heat and no okay all of this cannot conduct electricity ability to allow light to pass through and i think all of this cannot okay all of this are an opaque object next we move to the selections of materials in creating object ah let's see we have all of this so state the material used for the object below and explain the properties of the material. <gasps> eh? Finish? Okay. So the, the last slide is your task. So you need to state the material used for all this object and then explain the properties of that material. <laughs> That's for the task. Okay. So you can scan for extra notes and exercise. I think that's it for our lessons today. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you all. Bye.